Hey, what's up guys? Pete the Guttural Monk here. Today is the third collection update video of 2016. Can't believe how quickly this year is moving already. I've got a ton of stuff in transit currently. Uh, I've got 16 brand new releases to share with you guys today. Um, things are pretty busy. Um, I just scored this massive haul that I'd like to uh, eventually record for you when I was visiting my favorite record store uh, last week. Um, but that's absolutely not going to happen today. But uh, hopefully next week I'll be able to get that, that video up for you guys to check out. Um, starting off with the new releases, this is the brand new one, second full length from New Jersey's Death Fortress. This is called Deathless March of the Unyielding. Um, Fallen Empire Records handled the vinyl release. Endless Path Production handled the CD release. Um, CD's limited to, I think, 100 copies. Real straightforward, semi-lo-fi production. Um, like I said, straight fucking New Jersey black metal. Uh, really awesome stuff. If you haven't checked out Death Fortress, if you're not familiar with their with their sound or with their first album, highly recommend going to their, uh, their band camp page. Check out all their material. Fucking one of the most awesome kind of young bands um, in uh, in the New Jersey scene, but in the U.S. black metal scene as well. Um, definitely worth your time. Um, next up is the very first full length from the band Fwath. Uh, this is called I. Um, Andy Marshall is the, uh, the sole member of this one-man atmospheric black metal project from Scotland. Uh, you may know his work from the band Soar. Um, this is a whole lot less pretty than that band. Um, this is a little bit more of a kind of pummeling, straightforward, and aggressive approach to atmospheric black metal. Got a cool uh, UV spot on the front of the digipack there. Um, not a fan of these super thin, very flimsy digipacks, but the uh, the album is fucking incredible. Definitely check uh, check that out if you haven't already. Of course, I will put it in the description below so you can get the actual spelling on that one. Um, next up, this is the most recent release from Kralis, although these tracks were recorded back in 2013 uh, for a split that I guess fell through. Uh, this is Hyperion. This is the avant-garde music um, issue on this one. Um, Three-track EP, uh, like 22 minutes long, something like that. Really strong material. Um, it doesn't sound like the album that they released last year. Uh, this sounds a little bit more uh, classic Kralis, a little bit more, you know, black metal forward. Um, not as experimental and out there, uh, but a really strong release. Um, definitely give that one a, a shot if you're a fan of the band. Um, they are uh, they are awesome, and it's good to hear even more material from them. Uh, this one is a fucking strong release. Um, Icralian Oracle with Apollyon. Um, this is released on Nuclear War now. Uh, the slipcase is uh, is a limited edition. Um, really fucking awesome, murky, churning, uncomfortable, disgusting, need to take a shower after you listen to it, kind of black slash death metal. Um, fans of Antediluvian, uh, Impetuous Ritual, uh, will find a lot to, uh, to like with this release. Um, I like this so much more than their, uh, than their first effort a couple of years ago. Um, this is, uh, getting a lot of time, um, a lot of spins out of me so far this year. Um, give this band a shot if you haven't listened to it already. It is fucking terrifying and disgusting and awesome all at the same time. Uh, next up is the most recent full length from Valgrind. Uh, these guys hail from Italy. This is released on Lord of the Flies Records. Uh, Speech of the Flame is the uh, the name of this one. Uh, Valgrind formed in like 1993, uh, but yet this is only their second full length, and I think their first was released in like 2012. So they're late bloomers, but they play a really kind of you know straightforward, um, kind of old school death metal approach. Um, just a classic, you know you know, representation of the style. Um, really, really dig this stuff from Val Grind. Give it a go if you're a fan of uh, that true death metal sound. Um, next up is uh, the first full length from Nucleus. This is called Sentient, out right now on Unspeakable Axe Records. Um, this is their first full length, like I said. Slightly thrashy, highly technical death metal. These guys have managed to achieve this um, kind of bouncy, almost like two-step groove nature about this album that is completely unique uh in the death metal world right now um fucking amazing amazing release um fans of like nocturnist uh demo like um early kind of mid-era gore guts um that Catilist album that came out earlier this year the zealotry album that just released like last week um you'll find a lot of similarities a lot of things to like about this album 
Um, I feel like I say it in every single video, but Unspeakable Axe Records is just having a fucking massive 2016. Um, follow those guys. Check out their releases. Um, every one of them has fucking come through big time so far this year. Uh, really, really awesome stuff. Next up is the uh, first full length from Inverlock. Uh, this is Distance Collapse. Um, this is out right now on uh, Relapse Records. Um, if you remember, I got their EP in the Relapse Records 30 for 30 grab bag the, a couple months ago. I wasn't familiar with these guys before that. I liked the EP. I gave the listen uh, to the album once it came out, and I fell in love with this stuff. This is a massive slab of slow, doomy, crushing, fucking heavy death metal. Probably the second heaviest album of the year so far, in my opinion, um, next to the uh, the Lycus album that came out back in January. But uh, fucking A, uh, these guys formed from the ashes of Disembowelment. Um, fucking incredible full length. Uh, give it a listen if you just want to get your fucking head crushed for 45 minutes. Um, next up. Iceland seems to be pumping out some massive releases uh, this year as well. Uh, this is the band Shrine. Um, Season of Miss Records, formerly known as Gone Postal, which is not the best band name. They definitely uh, made the right decision in changing it to Shrine. Um, Unortheta is the name of this one. Fucking awesome mix of black and death metal. Um, it almost has like a kind of nostalgic edge to it uh, and almost like a metalcore sound. Um, to me, I get the, the metalcore influence from some of the high guitars that are happening. Um, real emotional, real fucking just awesome soul crushing kind of death and black metal album. Uh, def definitely more death metal forward than black metal. Um, amazing release. Um, they released a demo of the song, um, uh, fuck, what's it called? Spewing Gloom. Uh, last year that really caught my attention the full length definitely didn't disappoint um, so t check out Shrine um, they really fucking awesome upcoming band for sure uh, next up is the uh, I think the second full length from the Zenith Passage um, this is out right now on Unique Leader wasn't a big fan of the first one um, but I gave this one a spin and you know at first I was like okay it's a you know technical death metal release a little bit too much of like a, a deathcore kind of influence to it um, but then these guys busted into some really fucking awesome jazz passages that uh, completely took me and uh, ended up purchasing the album. Um, I can definitely get behind this one, um, Unique Leader Band, so you know you know more or less what the general sound is going to be like. Some love it, some hate it, but uh, if you're a fan of technical death metal with some deathcore kind of slams to it, um, and again, some experimental like jazz passages, uh, definitely give Solipist a, a spin. Uh, it didn't disappoint for me. I really, really dug that album. Uh, a couple of vinyl of 16 releases. Um, this is the first full length from Nadra or Nadra. Um, I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the album tighter, title because I will butcher it. Uh, but this is out on Fallen Empire Productions or Fallen Empire Records as well. Um, awesome Icelandic black metal members of Mistrhyming, uh, as well as one of the guys from the band Scoff, uh, who released an awesome album this year. Also, um, this comes on some really fucking thick gray smoky vinyl um great fucking presentation they sent some incense sticks along with it as well um obviously printed um inner sleeve which is cool some info about the band uh or lack thereof um really fucking awesome love this album pretty sure it's a free download on bandcamp at least it was um so uh if you're not familiar with it you can check it out for uh you know for nothing and then see if you want to you know go through with the purchase on it um great release um really really strong stuff next up is the uh the first full length from the band woad uh this is their self-titled album uh this just came out uh this is out on broken limbs productions um based out of brooklyn woad hails from the uk um this is some kind of cool melodic black metal beautiful gold vinyl um this caught me right from the first spin. Um, I checked them out because Invisible Oranges had posted about them in one of their upcoming releases sections. Um, absolutely fell in love with it. Uh, bought it that day. Um, fucking amazing release. Probably going to be one of my favorite of the year. Uh, this is just a printed uh, inner sheet with some lyrics on the back and an image on the front. Um, fantastic release from Woad. 
Um, next up is the most recent EP from New Jersey's Funebrarum. Uh, disgusting, old school, doomed out, dripping death metal. Um, this is their first real material since like 2012 when they did a split with Undergang, but really since 2009 uh, when they put out the, uh, the Sleep of Morbid Dreams. This is probably the strongest EP that I've heard so far this year. Um, absolutely crushing. Highly recommend listening to this one out of headphones because it is just a fucking monstrous experience. Um, this one is on some clear, kind of smoky vinyl, but totally uh, transparent. Fucking awesome stuff. Printed inner sleeve with uh, some band picks and some lyrics. Uh, it comes with a poster that I'm not going to fold out. Um, this was released on Dementia slash Morbid Wrath recordings. Um, really fucking strong release from Funebrarum. Give it a shot. I can only hope that they were going to record more, um, in the, uh, in the near future. Um, couple reissues, of course. Uh, this is the Avant-Garde Productions, um, reissue of Years Past Matter from Kralis, um, originally released in 2012. Um, I only got into Kralis about two years ago, um, so I'm missing a big chunk of their discography, but it's awesome that Avant-Garde is, uh, is putting out these reissues of their classic albums. Years Past Matter is them at their most weird and experimental from what I've heard. Um, really out there album, but I'm very happy to own it. Um, so definitely check that out if you're a fan of the band. Uh, next up, this is the uh, Nocturnus, the Science of Horror demo collection um, out on Nuclear War Now. Um, this was originally released on vinyl a couple of years ago. This is the first time it's been pressed on CD. Um, it contains the Science of Horror demo, uh, as well as the self-titled Nocturnus demo. Um, late 80s, like 87, 88, these both came out. Um, fucking awesome technical death metal. Um, one of my favorite bands. Um, very happy to finally own those hard to get gems on uh, on CD format. So check that out. Uh, Nuclear War Now definitely still has that one in stock. Um, last but not least, um, Century Media Records did a fantastic job with these reissues. Not going to spend too much time on it because I'm sure a lot of other YouTubers are are taking the time to mention these. But uh, the over reissues on vinyl. Uh, I only picked up Birdcott and Notten's Madrigal. Um, I love Kvelt Songer, but uh, I didn't see the need to have that in my collection on vinyl. Um, I already own all three of these albums on CD. Um, a couple original pressings, a couple of the Century Media Black um, reissues. Um, Over was, at one point, a fucking fantastic black metal band. A um, little bit of atmosphere, lots of folk influence. Um, Birdcott was their first full length, only about a half hour long five tracks, but one of the most powerful and influential albums of all time, in my opinion. Um, absolutely amazing stuff. Very happy to own it on vinyl. Um, I just got them on black. I didn't bother with the, uh, the lilac edition, um, but awesome gatefold presentation. Um, I can't seem to get the record back into the gatefold because it is tight as fuck. Um, but beautiful, beautiful presentation on these. Um, Notten's Madrigal um, is the uh, their third full length. Um, this is a real lo-fi. This is the album that you know people are talking about. Holy shit! It sounds like it was recorded in a forest because it really does. I mean, it sounds like they recorded it outside in a fucking windstorm. But it's fucking awesome. It's it's beautiful for being as raw and you know and dirty as it is. Um, very happy to have this one in my collection as well. Um, like I said, Century Media Records did did a fucking great job with those reissues. Um, really, really stoked to have them in the collection. That's all I got for today. Uh, like I said, I've got a lot more stuff on its way to me. Um, I'll be recording the next collection update video in June sometime. I'm going to try to get that haul video in you know, within the next week or two. Uh, but that's it for now. Uh, make sure you subscribe and make sure you fucking buy something. Um, support some of these bands or, or labels or something. I mean, you know, build your collection. That's what, uh, that's what I'm here to kind of, you know, tr try to preach to you every month, build your collection up, support these bands and, and record labels and, uh, you know, keep the, uh, keep the, the, the current music scene alive and keep these guys happy. Uh, but until next time guys, cheers. Thanks.